kids go to ordinary museums and it's almost don't touch. It's in a glass case, it's over a barrier, you can't get to it. But this isn't a Eureka. Eureka is get, you get stuck in, get your hands in. And that was lovely right from the start. It's all very tactile. I'm Johnny Ball, aged turn, uh, still hanging around. And, um, um, yeah, I've been involved in education for many years now, since uh, about 1976, 77, when I wrote my first factual information program uh, for children. Think of a number. I got involved with Eureka very, very early, in very early days, and started to plan it. And it was all coming together brilliantly. What we didn't have was a building to put it in, and we didn't have any money. And although there were promises here and promises there, we knew it was going to cost a lot. And there was no point in doing it half cocked. It had to be ambitious, but we didn't have the money. And eventually, Vivian Duffield arrived on the scene, and she had the money, and that was it. From there, then on, there was a certainty. And the site was found up in Yorkshire, and. Uh, which is a great idea because there's too much centred around London and it's much better to spread things around. And so we thought it was a terrific idea and a couple of years later it happened. It had been going quite a few years before I was invited up actually and uh, I got there and I was very impressed with it. Oh, I thought it was tremendous. It was lovely that a lot of the original designs were there, uh, all those ideas that we planned very early on and they worked and that was the great thing about it. It was an idea I had is to do maths on television. So I had to find very quick, short, bright ideas. Things that they could make, and it didn't matter if they destroyed them or got it wrong. And that became very active in the program. And you, you realize that's what kids need. They need to get their hands onto things. So when I got involved with the museums, I was always saying, oh, be ambitious, really be ambitious. But I think the great thing about uh, Eureka is you're really trying to communicate worthwhile information. You really try to open up their minds to what is possible. And so it's essential that, that you have museums like Eureka and that they really think what they're doing for the audience, for their kids, to make sure they keep coming and make sure they're a success, but also learn as they go along just what you can do with children and how you can light up their lives.